Well, hello. <laughs> hey, y'all. Listen, I am so excited about this one today. I am so happy. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Like, that's an honor. That's pretty cool. You guys will want to stick around for this one. actually wanting to elaborate on this topic for so long now I just haven't gotten around to doing it so today is the day this has been on my heart for a very 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 long time so I just want to share some ideas with you guys and just have some fun with it so I'm just gonna give you a quick background about me uh, this is for the ones who are not familiar with me I go by India Shiana and I have been on my wellness journey since 2018 so since then I have lost a little over 100 pounds today I really want to talk about the importance and put emphasis on um, setting small goals making small changes and getting big results okay so let's talk about this and I am super guilty of it uh, when we start to set these goals for weight loss, the first thing we do is go hard. We go extra hard, you know, with our diet. We make sure we're dieting, like, really, really strict, um, spend hours in the gym. And, I, you know, I'm not necessarily trying to speak against that, um, but I've been there before and was almost never successful when I would do that going extra hard because it's just not sustainable that's not something that you can keep up with you're not going to do the gym for four hours a day you know for the rest of your life you're not going to eat lettuce for three meals a day for the rest of your life so that's just not sustainable I can't put emphasis on that enough so when I see people and their first thought is to go like super, super hard. It scares me a little bit. So that's why today I really want to shed some light on how making teeny tiny changes, you know, can really, really lead to big results. And I'm going to give you numbers. Um, I'm going to break it all down for you in this video. Okay, so no one ever wants to hear this, but honestly, in order to achieve weight loss, you must be in a calorie deficit, uh, some way, some shape, some form, you have to cut your calories, right? So um, I wrote down some examples for you guys of how like you can easily cut your calories and then by the end of the year without even trying, without even going on a diet, without even stepping foot in the gym, you can lose weight, okay? And these are like my top three examples that I use. That's just what I do. So there's this sandwich shop that I absolutely love. And the way their website is set up, um, they have a nutrition calculator. So every ingredient that you get on your sandwich, you can see how many calories you're adding. If you remove something from the sandwich, you can actually see how many calories you're deducting, okay? So with the sandwich that I order and the way that I order it, um, I get it without mayonnaise. Y'all, I don't like condiments. I like 95% of the condiments that are out here in the world, I do not like. I had to get that out there a little bit. But so I get my sandwich without the mayonnaise. That's um, saving me 330 calories. So if you're a person and say you eat this sandwich three times a week, mind your business, okay? Say you eat this um, certain item three times a week and you just say, you know what, hold the mayonnaise, right? Just hold the mayonnaise. Now, I'm not telling you not to eat sandwiches. I'm not telling you to eat lettuce for the rest of, of your life, right? Just try it without the mayonnaise, right? If you do that for three times a week and in a year there's 52 uh, weeks in a year, that is ultimately 14 pounds. So you not getting mayonnaise on a sandwich and you doing that for a year, you can easily lose 14 pounds um, without stepping foot in the gym, without really changing your diet up. You know, no one's telling you to not eat carbs, not eat sugar, 
not eat vegetables, fruits, or whatever food groups that we're not eating or whatever trend there is. No one's saying that, but little things like that can help you save. Okay, and real quick, here's how I'm doing the math, right? Um, with that sandwich, 330 calories. If you multiply that times three, eating that three times a week, that's going to give you a number, right? Then you're going to take that number and you're going to multiply that by 52 because there's 52 weeks in a year. You're going to take that total and divide it by 3,500, okay? There are 3,500 calories in one pound. So 3,500 calories is equivalent to one pound, okay? So once you divide that number, you can actually see how much weight you're losing. Okay. And another example I like to use is soft drinks, right? Say you're a person, you're used to drinking maybe two 20 ounce bottles of your favorite soft drink, right? One bottle, um, I believe 20 ounces is 2.5 servings. So one bottle of that drink is 250 calories. So you do that two times every day, that's 500 calories, not every day, maybe five days out of the week. We'll, we'll keep it a simple. Um, so for the whole week, that's 1,000 calories. If you multiply that 1,000, uh, again, by 52, because there's 52 weeks in the year, you're going to get a certain number. If you divide that number by 3,500, you're going to get 50. 50. That's the number of pounds that you lose by eliminating the soft drinks, okay? But listen, when you do eliminate the soft drinks, that doesn't mean, you know, you only have to drink water. Because I know if I'm a person and I'm used to drinking soda every single day, I'm not going to go from that to only drinking water. So this is where you get creative. This is where you start to make the small changes, right? So instead of a soda with sugar in it, maybe try a diet drink. Uh, these diet drinks are zero calories. Maybe try another zero calorie drink. So you have plenty of options. There's a uh, sparkling water. You can still get like that carbonated feel uh, that you like. So you just substitute some of these higher calorie options with lower calorie options and make those small changes in your diet. And that makes the world of a difference. Um, I will say one thing I did, if you go to like your favorite coffee shop or whatnot and you start to look at how many calories are just in these drinks, like I can do a whole video on liquid calories and how it just adds up so quickly. But if you look at how many calories are in some of these, you know, lattes, coffees or whatnot, you'll realize how much you can save by just making your own coffee at home maybe sweeten it with some sweetener instead of sugar. And I know sweetener is not healthy for you. Um, you know, you hear everything, chemicals, this, it causes cancer, whatever. That's not what we're doing right now. We're not trying to be perfect, but just little things like that. And, you know, maybe use almond milk instead of, you know, full fat creamer. Little things like that can make a big difference, okay? So if you take something like the 50 pounds from the soft drinks that you're not drinking and then the 14 pounds from the mayonnaise that you're not getting on your sandwich in one year, you could easily lose 64 pounds. And that's just by making those small tweaks to your diet. So it doesn't sound like much, but trust me, these things add up so quickly. It really does. If. Only if I was to give anyone a piece of advice, it would be um, to challenge yourself for like a week, for seven days straight, track your food, okay? So when I say that, I'm not saying go on a diet. I'm saying eat your normal diet. Do what you typically do. If you eat McDonald's in the morning, track it. If you eat pizza uh, for lunch, track it. If you eat burgers for dinner, just track it. So I'm not telling you to not eat those things or to start some kind of weird diet or fast or anything, just on a normal basis, just for those seven days, for that week, just track your food to start seeing some of the trends and some of the patterns in your diet. And then once you do that, you'll start to realize where you can kind of cut back some of these extra calories. For instance, you know, McDonald's is a good one. You know, I love me some McDonald's just like the next person. 
and with the way their menu and their website is set up they already have the calories written out for you so it's super easy you're not having to do you know a whole bunch of extra work so for instance if you're a person and you like to get the large sweet tea maybe instead of getting a large sweet tea get the small tea but get a cup of water on the side with it so drink your water first get that water in you know fill that belly up and then drink the smaller version of the sweet tea and if you do that every day and you're consistent with that and you can do that for a year those are the changes that i'm talking about so not once did you hear me say restrict yourself or follow a diet plan none of that still drink whatever you're drinking maybe drink a smaller version and drink some water or zero calorie drink with it okay go in too hard and you know not eating your favorite foods not drinking your favorite drinks that's probably not the approach you want to take because what's going to happen is that you're going to crash you're going to get burnt out with that you're not going to keep it up because all you're going to do is obsess and think about that certain food that you just can't get that you just can't have and then once you reach the point where you say, you know what, I don't want to do this diet in me anymore. You know, I don't want to diet anymore. I don't want to do this. It's not worth it. What's going to happen is that you obsess so much with that food. Now, when you go back to eating it, you're going to eat a whole lot more of it. And that's just going to start a really nasty, ugly cycle, you know. So just make small changes and you will go so far in your journey. Trust and believe. Uh, there's just so much I want to talk about. This video is getting a little lengthy, so I might do a separate one to elaborate more on this same exact topic, you know, about making small changes to your diet or to your routine, even something like parking farther away at the grocery store rather than parking right there at the door, doing that, getting the extra steps in, the additional steps. So I might make a separate video, um, and get like a better script together but i just kind of wanted to give you an idea of how making those small changes can really 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 make a really big difference and it does just trust me um i've been living it for years people are like what kind of diet are you on i'm like i don't know i just track my calories i count my calories i'm not really on a diet and that's why people see me eating everything but i'm gonna count it you better believe that if I'm cheat day, whatever, I'm going to count what I eat. Calories in, calories out. Guys, thank you so much for staying to the end. Thank you for watching my video. Please go back, look at some more of my videos, share my videos, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, reach out to me. I love talking to you guys. I love going back and forth with you guys. It's, it's a good thing. So um, stay tuned. Uh, you're going to be hearing a lot more from me. So thank you again for watching. You guys have a great day and good luck on your journey.